Welcome, this is Zanta with Repro Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2021, specifically looking at the Get Autodesk Content new feature. I have Autodesk Revit 2021 open, and I have a Revit model open. If I head over to the Insert tab of the ribbon, in the Load from Library panel, there is a command for Get Autodesk Content. When you click this icon, what happens is it takes you to a website for Knowledge Base AKN, and it says Autodesk Revit 2021 content. It gives us the ability to get to this site so we can download the Imperial and or Metric or International Libraries, whichever location you are from. You can find, for example, English, US. It has Imperial Family Templates. Imperial Library, Metric, and Metric for Family and Libraries as well. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the other locations as well and their content. The reason they're doing this and they give this function to you is because when you go to install Autodesk Revit 2021, depending on where you're getting it from, whether it's an AEC collection or it's an individual point product, and you install it, you may or may not get all of the content initially installed. If I go ahead and download the files, all you have to do is click any one of them and they'll download. You'll see that I have them already here in my downloads folder. And you can double click them and it will go through the process of installing them. So before I do that, back here in Revit, if I go to the file tab of the ribbon and go to options, you can see under file locations where the default path is for your family template files are. And it will also default to where your regular project template files are stored as well. I have two drives on my computer, so all of my programs are on the D drive. And so just take a note of that and make sure that that's where you want it to be uh, installed. As always, if you're working with any Autodesk products for updates, you want to make sure your Revit software or any Autodesk software is closed and not running. Go ahead and you double click the one you want, for example, Imperial Libraries, and it'll open up this wizard and it'll ask you where you want to place it. The default location is the C drive, and so I had to change mine to D. And when you click Extract, it'll just basically extract the files and place them in that location. And it's a good, quick, fast way to get the files that you're missing to be put back onto your computer in the location that you need. And if you're doing the, the regular Imperial Library, it's going to take a little while because there's a lot more content in there. Whereas if you're doing, say, the family templates and other types of templates, they may not have that much data and it might go much faster. Also, I'm running Windows 10 Pro, and by default, if you double click an EXE file in Windows 10, it won't ask you to run it. It's gonna prevent you from running it. So you have to dig in a little bit to the details of the window and let it go ahead and extract it. It's just their internal way to protect your computer. So if I do metric library as well, looking at the path, making sure it's where I want it to go, same approach, just do that for all the files that you downloaded. And then when you're finished, you can get rid of these executable files or put them on a portable drive for future reference in case something goes wrong with the files. After all of this is done, when you start Revit back up, you can just double check by using the command to insert, for example, a family uh, or to create a new family using the template files and it should function and it should show you the location and as soon as this is finished I'll show you where it's talking about. Now that it's finished I'll go ahead and close this. I'll start up Revit 2021 again and since I'm going to be starting a new file or a new family or inserting a new family I can just click new for uh, creating a new Revit project and you'll see it gives you all the different template files. I'm going to click Browse to show you that when you expand this window, I'll set this to a list view or detail view. And I'm going to go up just for a second. 
it's defaulting like again to the D program data Autodesk Revit 2021 templates. And this program data folder is a hidden folder. So you want to make sure that you've set the visibility of hidden files to show you th that content. I'm going to go up a little bit to the templates subfolder because I want to show you that if you've done it correctly, then you're going to see all the other subfolders for the different versions and different locations. And for us in 2021, it gives us English and English Imperial. So if I double click English Imperial, I can get into it and use that content. Now I'm going to go ahead and just leave that as the architectural template file. And it opens up and there you go. You have a Revit project based upon the US English Imperial template file. Now, if I wanted to start a new Revit family, new family, look again at the location of where that data is stored. Same location. Now it says family templates, not templates. And again, you can see it has all the other subfolders for all the different locations. And you just need to double click the one you're working with. So when I click English Imperial, again, I can still see all of my content and it's set to thumbnail. And if you really need to, you can switch to detail like it used to be. And then you could just start working with a particular file. It's a good way for you to get the content back should your install go bad or something bizarre happened and you just need that content again. Thank you very much for watching.